I screamed. Oh! still pull out this one. Hell, I may pull out that one. I don't know. For some reason, I didn't cut them for shit. Well, not for some reason, because I didn't have a board there. That's what these two long ones are for. For either side of the sill. Still have one more for there, but I didn't buy that. Yeah, I got all these painted up. I got those are the ones I pulled off the wall. I'll use them, you know, throughout my bottom portions. If they can't go back there. If I need to recut, but that's that part of the update. That is my camera mount on my helmet that you have yet to see. Uh, I did have the Sony on there. I switched yeah. it out. I, I don't know. It, the, the GoPro seems like it's more stable, but I probably should have set it up different. But anyway, yeah, it's similar setup to uh, to how I had the uh, the Sony, just you know, a little bit different because it's a little bit different connection status. But yeah, that's that. And I got the old uh, got old old glory there upside down to signify uh, democracy and duress. Along with my fuck truck 2020 and my Black Lives Matter. But that's all old news. But, uh, you just hadn't seen it yet. That's all old news. You just yeah, hadn't seen it yet. A big cleanup here I am. And uh, just got everything out of the shed here. And I'm having to move over wood there and shit so I could mow and weed eat. Get all that jazz. And I finally, after, you know, like basically almost a year and a half, two years, I finally rigged up a little system for my clamps. Clamps? You best. If I can expect it. So, uh, yeah, I got a lot of my yellow clamps up under here holding shit uh, sporadically throughout. Uh, but yeah, so get those up off the floor and out of the way. And, uh, you know, a little bit at a time, right? You know, because I'm lazy as fuck. Now, I should have got shit like, like this, like this door. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this door? This mirror it came off a dresser that is now fucking long defunct, the drawers of which, you know, are the cat drawers in the cat house way out fucking yonder that you can't even saw because it's down over the hill but it used to be right child and uh but why i just don't why do why 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 do i fucking have it just fucking throw it away dude just throw the fucking mirror away like why did you fucking keep it like because you're a fucking hoarding piece of shit not really it's just that i don't want to uh i feel guilty right i feel guilty about just throwing shit away that's like not broken or that's still good or whatever like what what, what? no me me good me okay so I don't know, so it's just, I got too much shit, basically, is what I'm saying here. Oh, good story, so last night, last, whoop, hey, hey now, hey, oh no. So last night, I'm digging for some uh, hooks for my, I'm looking for some hooks, and I can't find hooks anywhere. I know I got a box of hooks, but I can't find them, I'm looking, 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 can't find them. Um, see a fucking fly away, and I'm like, oh shit, so a fucking big ass wasp nest that was fucking hiding right up in there and sprayed it with a whole bunch of waspy waspies gone and then I proceeded to get back to my looking to no avail of course but nonetheless I'm looking I'm just I'm meticulously moving every little solitary thing I mean not everything but everything I can get to because there's all sorts of shit out of the shed right now right so it wasn't even near this much room and uh, so I have no room to move like I'm basically just fucking stuck in one spot looking around and then moving to a spot you know stepping over a bunch of stuff move, finagling my way into a spot and looking through stuff there and then uh you know, don't find something, move on to a different spot. At which point, I'm starting to look over this hutch, working my way from top to bottom. I'd already gone through it twice, but now I'm just giving it a cursory, you know, perusal, as it were. And uh, I get up about right at this point, and my periphery catches some freaking, like just an insane amount of webbing all across my ceiling here. And we're not talking like a spider web with all the natural glory of the fucking how you doing zone. Buddy, get the fuck. All right, Mr. Waspy. And, uh, no, no, this is like, he's made a fabric fucking floor of web, and, uh, and this is all, you know, split second, you know, all happening at once, and I'm, as I'm realizing the web is the same time I see the giant fucking spider, and the web is like all over here, and it goes into, it goes into here, it goes into that, that plumbing pipe cover, foam cover for weather protection, the web retreats into there, giant fucking spider, I, big, like at least like, you know, how you doing? And uh, I screamed, ah! you know, at least it wasn't a bitch scream, right? And uh, ladies, sorry. And 
<laughs> I used to scream like that, but the few times I've been scared in my adult life, I've already screamed with a really deep voice, which is hilarious, because I totally used to scream like a fucking, like a 13-year-old girl when I'd see a spider or something. But now I go, ah! And, uh, but really loud, and my wife's sleeping, I don't want to wake her up. So anyway, uh, it re I scared the fuck out of that spider. I yelled, and that spider took straight the fuck off, back into that tube, from what I can presume. I grabbed the WD-40, I don't even know where the fuck it ended up, oh, right there. Proceeded to spray the fuck out of the entire web and in the thing, and then work my way the fuck out of this shed for about ten minutes till I got the till I got the wherewithal till I got the wherewithal to get back in here till I got the wherewithal to get back in, and then I uh, I got a, I got a stir stick and I, I scraped up all the fucking webbing, and then I didn't I haven't seen the spider since, so hopefully it's gone. But I had a couple of orb weavers hanging about hanging about the property. I'm fine with that. I just don't like them. I don't like them all in this area, right? So I'm trying to. I mean, I like uh, I like lights on at night to illuminate this area, just both for security and because I really like to illuminate my fuck Trump flag because the light comes in from behind it and it's fucking kind of above it and it, it lights it up <laughs> and it's fucking awesome. And uh, but I've started turning off the lights in here because I'm tired of fucking. I mean, you know, whatever. They're LEDs. I don't use any electricity. Um, they've been on for a literal, you know, like five, six, seven years, nonstop, 24/7, 365. But uh, yeah, I mean. It's not really necessary. It's just something I do. Okay, that's another update. Update. I have one more update for the bold. For those of you who are bold, you can hang with me for one more update. The old, uh, the old 05 CFR 250R is a uh, hit and miss. Um, running good. I've done, I've done two, uh, one change of the of the trans. You know, with everything y'all saw. And, uh, but one initial change and then a flush slash change of the trans one time since. I've ridden enough that it's about time for another. You can feel it want to slip every once in a while if I get really hard on it. But, uh, you know, the idle has always been issue. I tightened up the chain, but it's got some aftermarket bolts on here, it looks like, and because they're different sizes, you can maybe you can tell that that screw is bent. And, uh, probably some shit needs to be replaced, but it's not too terribly bad. It's slightly looser than, than, you know, necessary. It could be, it could be, have a little bit of slack taken out of it, but it's not bad. And it hadn't, it's definitely not the chain slipping. Um, I'm not missing length or anything. So, uh, when the chain's in good condition though, it could use a lube, could use a lube. I need to do that when I change the trans. But, the carb totally needs to be cleaned because it, uh, it's iffy, man. It's like it cut out on me the other day, and I had to push it home, and then I got it home up the hill and ran it down the next hill, and then everything was fine. And uh, and then uh, I was riding it that night, and uh, again, and everything was fine. And all of a sudden, it wasn't, and just wants to die out and cut out. And, and then uh, it, uh, oh yeah, that's right. I was going to show you that. And so uh, and 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 so I'm babying it, trying to get it back home. And all of a sudden, it's like shooting fucking mad fuel at me, and it pops up on its back wheel, and I'm not expecting it. And luckily, I had both hands on the on the fucking wheel on the bars, and I was able to set it back down. But she kept on jumping, trying to get away from me like that all the way home. So it's definitely on. Now we'll see it from this side. So it's definitely a uh, a carb issue. But look, also, can you even sunt the fucking? Oh, I'm gonna have to move the bike. Can you even sunt the kink in the hose? Can you sunt the kink in the hose coming off the pep cock? Like, how is it supposed to make that fucking more than 90 degree? I asked my son about that. And he's like, that that uh that wasn't on there when uh when you took it to the shop. And, uh, I was like, I was like, I don't know. I never looked at it before or after in that capacity. But he said, no, he's it was a metal one. And I researched, and it probably was a metal one because they rust out. But instead of ordering the three dollar part, it's like less than three bucks, two bucks. And uh, putting the right one on there, they put some garbage piece of just fucking regular old hose on there that can't make the fucking bend, obviously. So that could be part of the issue, but unlikely much of it, since I've been riding this whole time, and none of that shit that happened the other day has happened this whole time. I have been riding it, so likely that's a fuel issue. My son had it, uh, or a carb issue, from dirty fuel, and just lack of fucking carb ever being clean, probably, or long time since. He said he... Uh, didn't ride it and just let it sit around basically with gas in it, you know. And uh, so, you know, and I put though I did put stabilizer in it when I got it. Still, uh, still a lot of that got sucked up into the car probably and starting to gum it up. So, 
And uh, I looked at it, it's not a terribly difficult job. It's actually seems simpler to do a valve adjustment, which I did get fucked on by the way. I found out that that should have been at most a $200 job as opposed to the almost $600 they charged me. So I never go back there and I changed my review to reflect that. But uh, yeah, valve job actually not that bad if you have the tools and the shims, but uh, carburetor on the other hand seems way more in detailed. I mean, it's not that hard either, but neither, neither what I would want to do without an indoor facility and uh, I'm really experienced in all the tools and the knowledge. So I think I'll pay for somebody to do that, or at least check into the price of, and maybe see about a valve adjustment at the same time, maybe a car plan and a valve adjustment if necessary. Um, see what's up with that compression. Maybe it, needs to, maybe it needs to be rebuilt. Maybe the bottom end or something needs to be rebuilt. I don't know. All right. Oh. Weaver, weaving the orbs, pop, 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 weaving the orbs, pop, 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 Weaver, he's weaving the orbs, pop, 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 Oh, I got the spotlight moved down here for, as opposed to way up there, so it doesn't blind me in my bedroom. And, uh, I did a little bit of rearrangement here. I got, you know, about $5,000 worth of electrical cords here hanging out, so that I can have everything plugged in all at once and cause a fire. No, so I don't have to fucking, so I don't have to unplug shit every time I need it. So now I got, well, this is my, the black cord is my power sander. The orange cord is running over here for my drop saw or anything else I think over here that I will have to, that I have running. But that cord is zip tied there. Then I have all these zip tied up and I have every single cord that I have currently in use. I don't think I have any other cords. Yeah, that's all the cords I got being in use right now. So it's annoying, but this winter, you know, hopefully I'll have electricity run this winter and I can take all these back and put them in the shed. But in the meantime, I got power everywhere, which is beneficial. Beneficial. My shed hadn't looked that good or been that clean. I know I didn't show it to you, but trust me, I even hung more stuff up and found places for stuff that I never had found places for. and. And that's as far as I got in the room. As far as I got in the room. And because I pulled boards off and didn't just start, it's, there's a gap between this, but I'm not worried about it. It's like the only one. I'll put a shelf there. I'm going to put two shelves there, one shelf here, and then I'm going to build a wooden bench slash, uh, you know, storage unit go under the windowsill she can plants on top of and half of it will be a cushion if she wants to just sit there and uh and then store blankets and pillows and art supplies or whatever underneath oh yeah Meow. and i may or may not do that along the whole wall or i may just do it like a window seat under the window i hadn't decided yet but yeah man digging that shit digging the way that looks <laughs>